Okay, so this is now the first intro. There's going to be a second intro in a minute. Um, so I've changed what I was doing for this video, which was meant to just be a holiday blog video, but now it's going to be changed into uh, a little bit of a Disney uh, do's, don'ts video um, to try and help other people who have been in the same situation as us who are going to Disney for the first time. And hopefully this will um, help you along the way. Uh, and show you all the things you should do rather than what we did. Right. Welcome to the Robinsons um, family holiday video for uh, 2023. What I'm going to try and do, try, try, is document and um, blog my way through the week, do little snippets each day, say what we're up to, where we're going, what we thought of different things and stuff. So, um, So here you go. Right, so I won't uh, tell you exactly what we're doing, um, but this is uh, six days before, so I'll count down uh, to it. Trying a couple of different things on the GoPro as well. So um, this is uh, 4K at 50 frames per second with horizon leveling, so maybe it'll keep straight as I move the camera over. But yeah, that looks pretty cool. Anyway, um, yeah, so. Uh, Hopefully you'll find this interesting. Hopefully we'll give you some tips and things, what we learned along the way and what we uh, got right and what we got wrong. Well, welcome to oh, Tuesday night. And we're, what we now? Yeah, um, uh, three and a half days away from uh, going away. So this thing, this thing here is now packed. All I've got to do now is put my very small waterproof bag in that turned up that happened to be about 15 times bigger than what I thought I'd ordered but hey you know it's great skates and be beach bag um, pretty much there everything else now is in place just trying to count down the time now and <laughs> right so we are uh, waiting for breakfast breakfast beer on the way hey right so getting through the customs getting through security was not not too bad we're sitting at terminal 2 um, so that might give you a hint of where we're going, but we, uh, we've we still got another flight after that. So our flight's been delayed, uh, 25 minutes, so not the end of the world, but still, no one likes to delay. We've just travelled about three miles in escalators and moving uh, walkways. Again, really fun. So the girls have all gone off to the toilet, as they do, and uh, I'm left with the bags for a change. Right. Time is 10 past 11 local time, right? But there's been a big story and I couldn't update. So when we flew into Newark, um, we was getting a connecting flight, but there was a massive queue, uh, about two hours to get through. So then it meant we missed our connecting flight down to Orlando. So here we are in Orlando. Um, we had to split up, so the wife went separately. And then, um, uh, me and the girls had to come back um, down and we got three different flights uh, we'll try to get on three different flights I'm so tired I've been up for 24 hours now so um, yeah I'm about as good as useless um, yeah so I'll update again a bit more in the morning but right now Betty buys okay date official to unlock. Yeah, to well, unlock. yeah thanks <laughs> thanks for that on this side Number one's behind the camera because she's scared of it. Right, Should so we? official day one of holiday. We've had at least five hours sleep, I think now. So we're all seven. Se yeah, well, yeah, you're a teenager. Oh, I, yeah, I've so slept. We're here. Right, so we are actually in um, Kissimmee. And we're ready to go for um, a Disneyland. So that's where we've ended up after a 24 hour day yesterday <laughs> traveling. So up at four um, and then out the door by five. And then round to Heathrow, got on the um, uh, the plane relatively easy after obviously you're having a breakfast beer, nice bit of a full English, so that was good. Bacon. Yeah, that was good. Bacon. So, first part, Ace arrived in um, Newark because we was going Newark and then down to Orlando. So then that's when yesterday <laughs> you saw the um, two-hour delay getting through. Um, um, customs. customs. That's the word. Yes. So that made us miss our flight. So then. We managed to get Karen on the first flight out. On my own. On her own. She had to be a big brave girl, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> and then yeah. uh, me and the girls, so we ended up doing um, running between terminals, uh, three different flights before we actually got on one. 
and then we eventually arrived in uh, Orlando about nine o'clock last night where we met uh, Martin who was uber uber good um, so his um, link will be in the description <laughs> below and um, yeah we really really um, recommend him really nice guy uh, and uh, very flexible so today off good to breakfast starts yeah good breakfast all because Martin stopped at the shops yeah. so that we could grab some supplies which Got is lovely tarts. Yeah, pop tarts, yeah, all the, all the yeah, American yeah. junk food we got, and, yeah. and some proper breakfast stuff. So today, uh, hot pockets. <laughs> Jesus, food, always about food. Um, yeah, <laughs> Magic Kingdom, and then back here, and then we've got a, a, a restaurant book for this evening. So um, I will take you out on some rides, hopefully later on. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> oh. Right, we just got through security. That was very easy. Very easy. We've got the apps on our phone. So we're just walking down to get the uh, ferry boat. And I think it's leaving with us. Oh well. But look, can you see that in the distance? Oh, just some the trees there. Oh, she's going to get in the way. Yeah, see the castle. <laughs> yeah, it's leaving without us. So. There's no. proper giggler inside um, uh, where are we what, uh, space mountain yeah awesome wow it's about 34 degrees we're feeling the 39 humidity is like out of this world so we're just leaving animal no sorry magic kingdom um, after being raped and pillaged for all our spare money uh, for uh, various drinks and snacks and stuff um, what I can say is the, the one ride that we did do was very good um, but there's very little else for us there so going over to Animal Kingdom hopefully we'll get some more rides in uh, before this evening's adventures right so we just got off the bus we're now at Animal Kingdom so let's uh, there we go in the Animal Kingdom and then we're, we're finding Avatar yeah, a bit of Avatar, so that looks pretty good, and it's it's not one you have to pay extra for. So the, one of the things that we uh, we noticed while we was queuing up and watching everyone on their fast passes, um, unless you've got the right ticket and then buy another ticket and then buy something else on top of that, then you can't get onto any of these rides quickly. So choose the right ticket, and if you book it in advance, then you can pay on top of once then you can um, get on to some fast passes. So we're gonna try and do that later on in a week. I'll keep you updated on how that goes. Right. Thank you. Wow. So. They have gone absolutely all out with this one. It's amazing. I'm not, I'm not normally impressed by uh, uh, the lead up into a, a a ride but this one is something else uh, go back again look <laughs> amazing
use special bus to <laughs> Magic <laughs> Kingdom, bus. and then uh, on a monorail over to Typhoon Lagoon. So um, apparently the kids have done a bit of research on what rides to go on. So do you know names or? Um, River Rapids. Rapids. Yeah. <laughs> 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 we'll put some subtitles on the bottom. For them. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Right. Hopefully, we'll uh, get a bit of footage on them. We'll take you with us. <laughs> right. First monorail. Oh, yeah. 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 Mummy sitting down this time. So she's Sorry. Monorail. You didn't pull over. Right, so two hours after leaving the hotel, we finally arrived at Typhoon Lagoon. <sighs> Can't tell you the frustration levels of uh, the really, really bad Disney website that tells you some information, but not all the information. Where do you go? Um, so when it says um, you get the monorail, right, so you got monorail, we then had to get three different buses and then um, they keep going backwards and forwards on themselves so you never actually get a direct bus yeah. and it directs you to uh, Disney Springs which is uh, their shopping outlet. So the shopping outlet obviously is even more uh, uh, trying to take money away from you. Right, so yeah, well, hopefully We'll get to enjoy ourselves here. It looks pretty good so far. So uh, we'll see what we got or what you, what you found. Ooh. Ooh. Scorchio. Right. Typhoon Lagoon. Um, yeah, there's um, good family slides, good selection. We have some rubber rings, some straightforward down. Uh, Lazy River is really nice and then um, yeah it, it, it's good fun but there's nothing extreme so there's no like ones that are really scary so you can go into all of those pretty easily um, well there isn't is any shape uh, unless you're willing to pay ten thousand dollars or whatever it is for uh, an umbrella cool. all right well um, rain stops play so although it might look like we're sitting in the sunlight if you look a little bit over there above number two's head very dark clouds and some lightning so lightning within six miles shuts everything so everyone's either disappeared if you look around everyone's either gone home or found a found a bar to sit in never had that before okie dokie wednesday or day four day four day four three four something like that anyway so we are off to hollywood studios today um, so with the research and what we've learned so far, I bought the uh, Genie Plus tickets so we could get a couple of lightning passes. Ah, you think, ha ha, you sorted this out. No, no. So you can only book what times that they suggest and um, because our bus leaves here at 11 o'clock, it kept suggesting 9 o'clock, 8.50 and uh, so, so I had to wait and wait and wait. So we've got a time slot, which is okay, but you can't put the second um, uh, lightning past, lightning lane or wherever it is until you've done the first one and so it could be the next available time might be like seven or eight o'clock at night anyway so we, we're there on that but haha if you want to do uh, there's a second Star, uh, Star Wars ride that I want to do but you can't book that you can't um, join a queue so that's an additional charge on top of the additional charge so You've paid your 140 whatever it dollars is to get in the park. Then it's $22 per person to get the Genie Pass. Then it's another $22 per person to go on particular rides. That's not just at Hollywood Studios, that's across the board. So if you're coming here, like, make sure you batten up the hatches because you're going to get fleeced. Right, after an hour's bus journey, we've finally arrived at Hollywood Studios. So, um, again, uh, using the Disney Plus, no Disney, not Disney Plus, what do I mean, the Genie Plus uh, app had to adjust the timings of our first booking ride so we could put it back later because it took so long to do a five minute journey. Um, <laughs> this video is just me moaning at things, but um, yeah, do your uh, research, research. 
evening all right so at the end of our day at Hollywood Studios right so what do we learn right so what we did learn is the Genie Plus does work to a certain extent what is not so great is you will get around the park in no time at all um, so <laughs> goods and bad so if you're gonna do it plan to go to two parks uh, which we didn't um, so the uh, two passes that we did and we had to adjust the times which you can do on the app which is relatively easy once you know where to go etc etc the Disney Plus app my god it's convoluted and terrible um, but once you've got to the right parts you can do it it's fine um, so we managed to get into um, Tower of Terror we did that then we jumped out of that one went and did the rock and roller coaster which is good but then the camera uh, sorry the photos didn't come onto the app which we'll get into later on uh, then we walked around for miles and miles and miles around to the Star Wars we went and did that which was good uh, we went and had some photos taken which was again really good because you get the photos uh, all free that goes onto your app supposedly but because it's Disney nothing's quite straightforward it doesn't really quite work properly or as it should they get it sorted eventually but because of the temperatures outside it was crazy and trying to get these things sorted in the heat was a pain in the backside but we did it but there's not many rides there's lots of attractions there's lots of things to try and fleece you um, but there's not many rides so if you're coming to Disneyland for the rides be prepared to go to a lot of parks do you need a whole week no you could get the whole rides done in a day or two uh, if you was, if they were closer and if you could get between them and if they'd allow you to do it um, if you're in the UK if you went to somewhere like Orton Towers Orton Towers has more rides more decent rides than what Disney has as a whole with their was it seven different uh, sites that they have I'm getting more aware that I come across very moany about my holiday I'm loving it don't get me wrong I do enjoy it but at the same time I get so frustrated with some things and if you're traveling between the two it is so long-winded uh, and if you're using the public uh, buses or the buses that we use from the uh, hotel oh my god it's painful that said it's nice it's very very hot you know um, you enjoyed a little bit of afternoon rain so there you go morning 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 Mr Moni here so we're at the bus stop waiting for day five um, where we're heading over to Epcot but hopefully we're going to go to Hollywood Studios and get the cable car across to um, Epcot just to add another little thing to add a uh, week and um, no uh, lightning lanes or a genie plus today so we're just going to queue like normal people and um, hopefully we'll um, uh, get away relatively early today as well Okay, Moni Dad here again. Um, so I've just uh, just purchased a Genie Plus while I was sitting here, like looking, waiting for the bus. And um, <laughs> in typical uh, Disney style, so you buy that, you try to book into the uh, Lightning Lane, and it wants uh, an extra fifteen dollars per person to get on to the Guardians of the Galaxy ride. On top of the uh, hundred dollars I've already paid for the Genie Plus. Yay! Um, and then. The other ride you would want to do at Epcot, the, uh, the other one, the racetrack, to get a lightning lane, the first ride there is uh, quarter past seven in the evening. It's now 20 past 11. Mm. And there's no queuing. So, yeah, I'm not doing that either. And then he's swearing that might come out. Fast. Have you not been on cable cars? None. Okay. It's so when you go over these things. With, uh, viewing when you go over these things. The, yeah. Actually, sometimes they're like bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. I wonder what car we're in. Like the design. Two six. No, it was 247, wasn't it? Yeah, the picture. That's what I want to know. There is a picture. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Welcome along to the three o'clock showers. We've just got out of uh, uh, 
space race Mars mission thing, which is cool. They will come out into a very, very humid and very wet uh, Florida afternoon. I'm not sure if you can see me or not, but we're on a little Nemo ride. Look! Nemo! Where are you? Nemo's! We're on the sea! Oh yeah, but this little mermaid going to be here. Is she going to be the new mermaid? I'm sure we'll see him any minute now. Nemo! There's so much to know. Find the board explorers, it's time to go. Grumpy Moany Dad again. Right, so um, we've just left Epcot, which turned out to be a pretty good day. Um, but we did learn a few things, and uh, Disney need to, need to learn a few things. Um, so we lumped on for the Disney uh, Genie Plus, which gave us one lightning lane. That was it, because the uh, lightning lanes for all the other rides were either unavailable or they just um, full up so the Guardians of the Galaxy which was a big ride there that wasn't available that filled up so we managed to get on the um, what do they call it the stand no not stand one the uh, virtual queue virtual queue yes virtual queue and then halfway through the morning we got a notification saying no nah, that's full up can't use that either now Ratatouille had a you didn't say about how much it costs in oh yeah so yeah to the Guardians of the Galaxy to get on the Lightning Lane was an extra fifteen dollars per person uh, to get on there on top of the Genie on top Plus. of the Genie Plus yeah so the Ratatouille ride which is the other new big one was uh, closed most of the day wouldn't let you do a Lightning Pass uh, so it was uh, standby only which is fine I don't mind that over two hours wasn't it one hundred and thirty minute wait time. That said, we managed to do lots of other little rides and little um, adventure things, which were pretty good. And we've been there pretty much all day. So we're now sitting in, Mac 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 sitting in McDonald's waiting for a, an oversized burger and a milkshake. Peace. Well, go on then, you're doing the intro if you think you're doing it. Come Hi on. Guys. Anyway, so apart from them lot, it's been quite a nice day so far. Um, we are on our way to Animal Kingdom. Uh, we've already got the Genie Plus sorted, so we've got the first um, trip. What is it called? Some uh, Navi River ride. So that's booked in. Um, and I've got to wait another couple of minutes before I can buy the, uh, sorry, buy or try and log into the uh, second trip uh, because it'd be too hard to actually book them all at the same time. And I guess while they do that to stop everyone booking at uh, the beginning of the day. Anyway, so that's that. So we have to get the bus to uh, Magic Kingdom 
and now we've got to try and get the bus out to uh, Animal Animal Kingdom, yeah. Animal Adventure, wherever it's called. Anyway, so that's the plan for the day. So our first ride of the day is booked for uh, the mountain expedition, which is that massive uh, mountain in the background there. Off, excuse the state of undress here, um, waiting to go out for dinner. Now, uh, this is our last day at Disney before we move on to the next part of our holiday. So by day six, we worked out how the Genie Plus app works uh, and it does slightly work, but it's still got its massive faults. I still don't like having to pay extra um, for using um, using the app to start off with, and then uh, having to pay extra on top of that for even more rides. I mean, that that, that just me. I, I think that's just bonkers. Um, anyway, so um, Animal Kingdom was pretty good, uh, but today it was mentally hot really really hot and then we had a big tropical uh, storm come in um, which you'll see next <laughs> rainstorm yeah and let's put it up there look we're sheltering under big rocks floating <laughs> islands the floating islands yeah they save us once again look, look, look at the waterfalls <laughs> So in summary, rent a car, do your research on what parks you want to go to and which ones you're willing to pay to use because you're not going to get away from here without having to pay a lot of money to do a lot of things. Take water, freeze water bottles into the park. They don't stop you to take, uh, like search your bags or anything. So you, yeah, so you can take your water bottles, you can refill them on there. So if you're staying in a nice apartment with a fridge, freezer, freeze your bottles over the night um, so you've got them for the next morning if you can take sandwiches um, because paying $30 for a hot dog uh, and a drink is not fun um, what else can I say um, do a little bit of training beforehand to uh, get your steps up standing around for a long time the queues aren't that bad um, at the moment because uh, people have decided not to use Disney anymore because it's so bloody expensive um, so main the biggest waiting line is like a, uh, an hour to two hours but we've not done, done that I think the longest we've ever waited is 45 minutes everything else uh, we've managed to get on pretty quickly um, there isn't big rides if you're doing Disney for big rides yeah everything's been sanitized so everything is safe everything is gentle there's one or two rides with slightly more but any of the big big sort of named rides now are 4D so they're not big roller coasters or anything like that um, so if you're bringing sort of uh, children you should be absolutely fine can't speak about Universal as we did do Universal this is purely Disney if you go uh, or have any questions or you want to ask me anything look in the comments section below